Hi everybody, I'm in the city of Wroclaw in Poland, once Breslau, one of the most beautiful cities in Central Europe. And I'm going to show you some, one of the most remarkable things about this city. Let's go down here, here we go. During the Second World War in 1945, the city of Breslau became Festung Breslau, Fortress Breslau. And underground, a whole population sheltered. Let's go to the women's toilets. Beneath the streets of this city is a World War II German bunker designed for 300 people who live in these tiny little rooms. But I'm sure it would have been filled with many more than that when the final assault from the Red Army came. To get down here, you had to be a senior, well-connected person in the city, probably a senior Nazi or friends of the senior Nazis. And as the Soviet shells and bombs fell down here, you'd have been rocked, shaken by the interminable bombardment that destroyed much of this beautiful city above. This is such a wonderful piece of history to survive, a place of such terrible fear. Still with the German on the walls. Now it's part of Poland, but of course this was part of the Third Reich. It was part of Germany during World War II. It was given to Poland after the war. We're just doing some filming down here for a BBC programme. So many chilling remnants of the past here. The city eventually fell after Berlin in the spring of 1945. And the people would have been dragged out of here, some summarily executed. It's the boss of the bunker in here. That's his little cell, all very carefully organised. And here's the toilets. Men. Perhaps a shower room. The arrivals along there. I think on paper this would all have looked well organised and neat. Washroom, male washroom. Is that a kitchen? I'm not sure. A kitchen, I think. I think on paper this would all have felt well organised and safe. Little numbers on the top of each room. But when war gripped this city and smashed it to pieces, this would have been a little corner of hell, always waiting for a direct hit. It would have meant the end, even down here. Or waiting for this inevitable Soviet victory, being dragged down into the streets, women raped, men killed, brutalised. It's awful. After all these years, this place has lost none of its ability to terrify. <laughs> 